what's going on? I feel just kind of hot and overwhelmed. Okay. I'm so excited! <laughs> so I literally sleep like this. We're Levi and Leah, a Canadian couple living out of our Toyota Prius to complete a road trip of a lifetime. We left our apartment in the city to spend the next year circumnavigating North America. Last week, we broke our silence on the fact that we are pregnant while on the road. And this week, we show you the realities of being pregnant in a Prius. Okay, are you happy now? You got your ice cream? Yeah, <laughs> it's what I needed. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so, I am in fact pregnant and in a Prius. <laughs> But actually in our little tent here, there's there's enough room. This is our bed, but we touch all night long. <laughs> how many how many times did you get up to go pee last night? Last night was really good actually. I only did two. But the night before, when it rained all night long. Like at least three. Uh, I think it was four. I got it four times. And every time I had to come back, I had to <laughs> towel off because I was so wet. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you commented on how brave and uh, <laughs> courageous Leah was being, uh, being pregnant in a Prius. It is. It is brave. <laughs> it is. It is a hard time out here sometimes, but sometimes it's fun too. It's fun. 99% of the time, I feel good. Oh, that seems generous to say 99 <laughs> So this is one of those when in Rome kind of moments. We came to Florida in part because I figured out that there was going to be a rocket launching from where we are right now in about 40 minutes. So we're gonna go and stand on a bridge and watch it. <laughs> you can pay to go and watch a launch from the space station, but it is prohibitively expensive in my opinion as a person who isn't like a really big enthusiast about rockets so this seemed like a good free option something free to do in florida while we are here enjoying the sun just got a pit stop to look at this freaking alligator that's just chilling here that's a big gator oh wow hey dude are they like the deer of florida <laughs> this is so weird <laughs> 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 Your disappointed face. So the main reason we're here at this bridge is that this is apparently where people go to watch launches if you are cheap like us and don't want to have to go pay for it. But we didn't actually expect to see a whole bunch of people here and there's starting to be a crowd. <laughs> You seem to know what you're talking about. We were born and raised here. So. Okay, so you know what's happening. <laughs> so why do people come here? Like, why not? This is because the tallest is... view. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we came to the right spot, is what yeah. you're saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do, do you think we'll hear it? Yes. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and considering that the, the wind is coming But not this right way. away, but 30 seconds because yeah. it'll speed up <laughs> the <sound laughs> What? That's and crazy. also, the booster is coming back to launch site. So you'll see oh, really? about eight minutes after launch, you'll see the booster come back. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. even know that was happening. Oh, that's yeah. great. So we actually have live broadcast. Okay, so I was right that the two white things yeah. the launch is right in the middle of it because you can see those on either side when they pull out from the... Oh, wow. Power and lift off one way through. There it goes. Oh, so cool. there it is. Wow. Now, 30 seconds, you're going to hear the noise. Oh, 
coming back down. Holy. Uh, can you imagine most of us can't even parallel park? I know, right? <laughs> or regular <laughs> park. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. There we go. Um, thank you for, for you know You're educating welcome. us, I guiding love, us through this. I love imparting some of my, you know, little bit of knowledge that I have, you know, oh, on, with people. You know, oh, that's so. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah you know, was... I like people enjoying the experience. So oh, I... not everybody gets to do this. What's going on? I feel just kind of hot and overwhelmed. Okay. Now this is not because Leah is so moved by the spaceship phenomenon. She's this is this is I would say every day Leah has one of these. I'm really hot and uncomfortable and I need to lay down or eat something. If anyone on this channel has ever been pregnant before, you know, well, it's different for everyone, but in my 11 weeks experience so far, afternoons are hard. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> And this is the thing, we're out here like trying to enjoy this trip. We're like making the most of it and then Leah will just, you know, feel poopy and then we gotta yeah. we gotta take it easy for a bit. So let's get you back to the Prius for a little nap, okay? Yeah. Can I have an ice cream? Yes. I need something to cool me down. It's for the baby, it's not for me. Yes, okay, we'll get you an ice cream. Okay, are you happy now you got your ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> it's what I needed. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> so we have been chilling and enjoying the last little while here in Florida. Uh, relaxing so much that we slept through our alarm and we're a bit late, but we're here to go strawberry picking. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my God. Leah's first victim. There we go. We have a strawberry acquired. Oh. I was about to just put it in my mouth. Picking strawberries, not only because it's a cute, picturesque thing to do on a Sunday morning, but also because it is strawberry festival season here in Florida. We're also enjoying how nice the weather is. After Texas and being so cold, it's so nice to like wear shorts again and remind ourselves of why we're not in Canada in March. <laughs> Leah. <laughs> yeah, I got to test the quality, man. So this is the booty, our accumulated strawberries. And this morning we are gonna make some French toast here. I'm so excited! <laughs> so this is a nifty little camp spot we've been hanging out at for a couple of days. It is free. We found this on Overlander. So on Overlander, it told you go to the Southeast Florida Water Management website <laughs> and you make an account and you can sign up to camp at these places for free. It's great. There's like a little lock at the gate to let you in and then in this beautiful spot, only one other camper. That's it. So we actually got these eggs from the last hip camp place where we were staying. This is some bread we picked up from a local market with our local freaking strawberries. This is going to be a very Florida meal. What a masterpiece. I mean, we're living out of a Prius, but listen, we're eating pretty good. <laughs> can I eat it now? Yes, yes, you can eat it. I gotta be honest, this is mostly why we don't film more of our meals while we're on the road, because we just like eating it so much, we really don't wanna have to like wait and like display things and show for the camera. I mean, it's fun every now and then, but most of the time we're, we're just like, give me the food. <laughs> Especially me right now. <laughs> I, just, I need the food. <laughs> I think since the ultrasound, we've been kind of in two places at once. 
I think for me, a part of me is so excited for this next chapter of our lives. Like I'm ready to go home and nest and do all those things. But I also want to enjoy these moments where it really is just the two of us for the last time. This is the thing we've talked about doing for so many years and it's been amazing and we've done it so well. And having a kid is also a thing that we've talked about for a really long time and that we've always wanted to do. And uh, it's weird being in the middle of both, having this time where one is going to happen and one is slowly coming to an end and not trying to rush either of them. Right now, I feel like we're taking it day by day, especially in how I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot better than I was <laughs> earlier. Uh, but yeah, like just trying to balance that homesickness with really wanting to appreciate what we're doing right now, right? Because yeah. this kind of trip, we're not gonna be able to do again, not like this. Team, I'm wearing contacts. Good, mo <laughs> Good morning and welcome to a parking lot in Crystal River, Florida, where we are eating a sandwich at 7 a.m. before we go on a manatee tour. Yay! All right, we're going in for a couple thousand briefings probably, and then we'll meet you on the boat. All right, this is our Fit check wearing the. Batches my shoes. The. What are these things called? Wetsuits. Wetsuits. Alright, let's get on the boat. <laughs> Our manatee better. brothers and sisters. In your lives. Yep, that's well, not it. Well, not that we're the manatees, but we went and saw the manatees together. Good morrow. So we did not bring a GoPro, we just have the phone, but we got one of these bag things to go underwater, which may or may not work. Is it? I mean, that looks okay. That's so bad. Oh, there's our first test video. Oh, yeah, that you. looks really good. I'm sure it's beautiful. It's so I, don't, I can't tell. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> oh, man, what a contact. I don't know if you can hear anything on here, but hopefully my phone doesn't die from being in this stupid bag thing and we get to see some manatees. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so we're out of the water, but we aren't out of the storm because <laughs> it's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, it was it was awesome. Now we're slowly dying of hypothermia. Um, but hey, fortunately, my camera wasn't the only thing recording. Our German friends, who are also doing really well right now, <laughs> are gonna send us some footage. So. They're gonna put that on the camera right now. <laughs>
so cold. So that's a tick. A little one. That's burrowing into my friggin' arm. And it's the second one. Okay, do it. So no twisting. Oh, his legs are still moving. Oh my god, dude. He wasn't very deeply in there. That's disgusting. What the hell? Yep. I'm gonna take a photo up. Okay, so here's the burn pile. We've put everything that we've touched or what has been in bed on the bed and we are going to wash everything again. The crazy thing about this is I had one of these on my ass last night that was like twice to three times the size. And then this morning we pulled out another one and I found one on my jacket two or three days ago and another one on my pillow a couple of days ago. This whole time, Leah has nothing on her. She's completely fine. It's the pregnancy hormones. <laughs> Do you still love me even if I'm infected? But this could be like the last of us, you know? Like maybe, maybe no, I'm- They're not cordyceps, they're ticks. Yeah, I would say they're arguably even grosser. Because they're real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did do a task I've never done before, twice, <laughs> in removing ticks from my husband's body. <laughs> Am I traumatized? It's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our bed is usually so clean and takes such meticulous care of it. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's probably mine. So this is my first time seen the Atlantic Ocean from this side. Oh, oh, and there, there goes Leah. <laughs> there goes Leah, of course. Oh my goodness, Whoa. that is crispy. They thought the Pacific was cold? Hey! Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's fresh! <laughs> <laughs> this sand oh feels so God. good, though. Mm. It is wild to think that on this trip, we have been on the Pacific Coast. We have been on the Gulf of Mexico on both sides, and now we are on the Atlantic. Thankfully, since being in Florida, I have felt a lot better. Uh, but that doesn't mean there haven't been days when I felt a little faint, a little whiny. <laughs> um, you know, just needing to take things slower, needing to have a nap and lots of snacks. But I am so glad to now be into the second trimester where my energy feels better and I just feel like myself and we can actually share this with you because I'm not gonna lie, trying to like pretend you feel okay when you really don't, it sucks. But she did a good job. A lot of you didn't know that this is what was going on. Right? Okay, we have found a couple pieces of beach glass, which is a must every time we go to the beach. Yeah, they're big. They're big, it is. Not much yeah. small stuff here. No, there's not a lot, but you know, there's some. Some of you early people on this channel, on this journey, would have seen the all glass <gasps> beach that we got to check out. Oh, uh, Levi surprised me and took me there. It was so cool. That was in California, and now we're literally on the opposite side <laughs> of America. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> I would say until we got to Florida, we weren't entirely sure if we were gonna finish this trip. We talked pretty seriously about cutting things short, especially when we were in New Orleans. I was not feeling good. Like, the, we enjoyed being inside people, but for a whole bunch of other reasons as well. This kind of trip is already so challenging, but then to also be doing it at a point where we are going through such profound changes in like who we are and, and what our lives mean right now. Like we're already referring to ourselves as a group of three. It isn't just Levi and I anymore. Like no. that's, we're always thinking about the baby, talking about the baby and the level of conversations that we've been having, like our roles and relationship to each other, it's gonna change 
in ways that we have no idea. So we are gonna see the trip out. We are going to finish it. We are going to really shoot for that full one year on the road and we're going to make the absolute most of it as we can. So thank you for being here, for following along, for making it possible, honestly. And uh, if you're subscribed, we'll see you next Saturday. Bye. And mwah. <laughs>